Hello everyone. So my name is Abhijit. Uh, so this is my package uh, that basically it's a graph visualization package. Uh, so Network is a back, uh, graph visualization package that uses 3JS to visualize graphs in WebGL. So the good part about Network is like it uses 3JS and with Astra you can actually uh, build interactive graphs uh, using Network. So the question is why this package? Because we have already like some uh, many graph visualization packages in Julia like GraphWiz, Graph Layout, and stuff, and uh, when I created this, the thing was like the, the, all of the packages were 2D and uh, we needed like uh, some 3D visualization package that could, uh, that we could use in Julia. And then using network with Azure like helps you create interactive applications that can be used in network simulations and stuff. And also the 3JS with WebGL makes it like uh, independent, like we can use it in a browser without any additional plugins. Uh, so the pros about it, uh, it'll be you can easily switch between 2D and 3D. It supports both, and the visualization uh, you can uh, just uh, omit the z parameter and just it'll just come back to 2D, and uh, it can visualize uh, using a, just an adjacency matrix, and then it's tightly coupled with LightGraphs.jl. LightGraphs.jl is an amazing package that works with graphs. So you can just pass in a LightGraphs object into Networkers, and it will just visualize it for you. So the working of network is basically uh, it accepts either a, a light grass object or an adjacency matrix, and it computes the coordinates of the uh, nodes and uh, using a spring embedder algorithm, which is a famous algorithm. It's also called force vector displacement algorithm, and it passes the coordinates to 3JS. It uses point cloud feature of 3JS to plot the point, plot the nodes that is, and then the line is used to plot the edges. So the spring embedded algorithm basically works like this: uh, each nodes are considered as steel rings, and then the edges are considered to be springs. And whenever, like uh, initially, we take a particular layout, and you apply force between each edges yeah, in the springs and we have we will take a particular distance which is uh, like uh, which is which is an optimum distance and whenever the distance is less than the optimum distance you apply a force on it so that the spring uh, pulls the nodes apart and whenever the distance is more you bring it back so basically after like some iterations you will get an optimum an equilibrium position where the for, uh, net force is zero so this is how the graphs will look like basically. Uh, you can easily switch between 2D and 3D. And uh, I'll move to the uh, primitives used. Uh, like uh, this, These are the two basic functions that it has. One is draw graph function that accepts light graph object. And node property basically has the properties of the node, which includes size, color, uh, and texture of the node. And edge will be, uh, its property will have properties of the edge like size and color. And the Z parameter will determine whether it's a 2D or a 3D plot. And the, the second draw graph function will accept an adjacency matrix instead of a light graph object. So there are some utility functions that I created as well, which works with uh, light graphs that uh, you can add, remove uh, nodes and edges. Now this is, this is how you can use uh, network with you can actually visualize a graph in like two lines of code or something, just call a function and then you can uh, display it. So uh, as you can see, uh, I have, uh, you can actually visualize it using different colors for the nodes. So here, this is a, a node property object which, which, has, which has an array of colors. Basically, uh, 20 distinct colors I've used here and 0.2 will be the size of the node and zero is basically the texture. If it's one, you will see a, a sphere node like you see uh, you have seen before and if it's zero, you will get a, a cube, cubic node basically. And the edge property, this is the color of the edge and then this is the size of the edge. You can actually modify the color here and you will uh, get something similar. Yeah, I just changed the color to blue and you can just change the color and size whatever you want it just works so yeah 
now I'll move to the demos. And the demos is uh, something that you saw earlier with 3JS, like you have a code mirror here, you can just type in functions that uh, LightDraw supports and it will just do the same operations. Now if I do a BFS with respect to the first uh, node, it will just execute it. And this is a BFS and this is 3D view and you can easily switch to 2D as well. And then the next example, yeah, this is another example. Uh, here you can animate the nodes as well. Here the animation is basically just uh, like you increment the nodes by one till it reaches 50, it goes on like that. So basically it's very useful when it comes to network analysis platforms and stuff. So you can use this there uh, as required. Now, as you saw earlier, like uh, Azure gives you this feature, uh, like use sliders and stuff very easily, so you can actually increase the number of nodes. It's basically a wheel graph. A wheel graph is like every other node is linked to the center node, so you can switch between 2D and th uh, 3D as well, and you can easily move, move between the number of nodes also. So as part of other development, the network is still in its infancy stage, and this, uh, the problem with network is, is that it uses spring embedded algorithm that's originally taken from graph layout, and the graph layout algorithm support only 2D. I just ported it to 3D to support 3D coordinates as well. Uh, the problem with it is that it has a cubic loop inside it, so basically it takes a lot of time for 10,000 edges at like two minutes, that's too slow. So in the future, I plan to use either a, like a GPU, GPU computing or like a use in parallel processing to improve the speed and the better tech support as you as uh, Rohit said, like uh, 3JS has like very patchy tech support right now. We would like to improve that and coloring and sizing of individual nodes and edges that also should be improved. And also blink integration that's like hope to come in the future. Like when I started this uh, package, there was nothing else, but now like uh, I'm just doing another project under Simon as uh, Simon and Sashi as part of GSOC that will be making graph layout independent. So uh, graph layout will be an independent package which, which does not depend on any of the backends, but uh, this one will be still tightly integrated to LightGraphs and 3JS. So that's it. Any questions? Uh, I uh, in initially I plan to like uh, email, uh, change it to uh, support graphs and other packages as well. But then, uh, since I have this plan of using graph layout, I am not sure whether I'll be doing that because in graph layout, when I make it backend independent, it's just independent from the graph package as well as the backend. So you just have this graph layout package which will accept an adjacency matrix or something like that that is independent from the graph package and then process it to give back the coordinates. So this one will be just linked to light graphs since light graphs is like, uh, it just deals, it doesn't deal with that huge number of graphs. It j uh, as the name suggests, it's light. So I would like to keep that way. Yeah. Uh, actually, that's possible. That's possible using Reactive. You can actually map the signals and do that. Uh, that will be like uh, coming in for the developments. And uh, there's this guy called Carlo Lucibello. He has already implemented that in one of his packages. And I would like to use that uh, feature here. Uh, disconnected, even if the graph is disconnected, the nodes will be in equal distance, like uh, in an equilibrium position. That's just like you're, you're adding yeah, that's assumed that uh, the spring is an assumed thing. The edge is not necessary there, basically. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's like that. Like uh, you assume there's a spring uh, to adjust the nodes equally <coughs> apart to be symmetric. That's it. Adjacency matrix, or can you also pass directly sparse adjacency matrix? 
Uh, I'm right now. I need a full adjacency matrix. I can't pass it. I use it as far as one. And are you thinking about incorporating that and or um, just allowing list representations, or do you think any reasonable three D layout algorithm would require constructing it? Uh, I, I think I think I'll just use the same. I would like to implement a, a function that you uh, that accepts sparse matrices as well, and then work with that. Uh, we are not able to do that because like 3 js doesn't support plugging in feature right now. Once that is supported, we can do that. Actually, So this is an example with text in it. Okay. The you can identify the nodes that way. Since the text support is patchy, like it's not perfect. Once it's improved, it'll be better. Anybody else? Uh, that uh, the that pla that like I'll be giving a talk again on Friday for the visa project. Yeah. <laughs>